Hello, I am Nikki. This is Pin Cut Sew. I'm so glad you're here because I'm going to talk about something today that I'm very passionate about and I really, really hope that it helps you. If you are someone who has ever tried to make money sewing only to realize that whatever method you were trying, the juice just wasn't worth the squeeze, as my husband would say, because you spent a lot of time, money, and effort and then didn't make any money at all, then this is the video for you because I'm going to go through several ways to make money sewing but then i have a very favorite way to make money sewing and i have just finished writing a resource for you about just that topic and i'm so excited about it because in my experience and i have had a lot of experience trying to make money sewing in my experience this is the fastest way and the most fun way it is not blogging and youtubing even though that is what i currently do to make money sewing but this is something totally different that pretty much anybody can do and it's a very out of the box way to think about making money with your sewing. This is the video for you if you're interested in learning how to make money with your sewing skills while being at home still. Let's get to it. So I've been sewing pretty much my whole life. My mom taught me when I was really young and it was instant passion. I've been doing it ever since. And so by the time I was married in my early 20s, I was, I was pretty good at it. My skills were good. And so for a while I worked for a, an interior designer. I did that. And she paid me really well, but the work was super boring and I had nothing to do with the creative process at all. It was just here, take this ugly fabric with monkeys and palm trees and make a straight balance and it was boring. So while it made okay money, I really wasn't able to make more money than the work that she was giving me and I didn't really enjoy it at all. And so move on to when I had some babies and I was at home and someone asked me to do some craft fairs with her. And so I made a bunch of stuff and hardly sold anything. <laughs> so I've done the craft fair thing and then I did the Etsy thing back then too, but I didn't know what I was doing then. Obviously I'm on Etsy now in a different way, but back then I, I just was making tag baby blankets and it turns out that Taggies has a patent on anything with two or more looped ribbon tags. Maybe it's one or more. Anyway, they should not have this patent. It's a little ridiculous, <laughs> but all my listings were taken down. And so that was a failure. And then of course I had friends and family seeing things I had made and wanting to buy them. And then always balked at the price of them when I added up my costs and expenses and my time. They, they just didn't think it was worth it. And one woman even said that I was just too expensive. And this was when she wanted some custom dresses made and then of course hemming pants for friends and family hardly ever results in any actual money and it's just so not fun to hem people's pants <laughs> you can see that i have tried a lot of things and a lot of things i failed at because i didn't know what i was doing and if i had continued doing them i probably would have figured things out along the way so i'm going to go through this list of ways you can make money sewing with a couple of tips on each one until i get to the end my favorite way and then i'm going to give you more information on that one because it's my favorite so let's start with craft fairs a lot of people make the mistake of not counting the cost of the craft fair or the supplies and materials and time they put into it when they go into these things. And so it's often a failure. If you have tried to sell things at craft fairs, I bet you know this disappointment. So if you do enjoy sewing the same thing over and over again, then this could be good for you. My advice though is to, instead of gathering all your scraps that don't match each other and just making whatever appeals to you at the time, Try to give your booth an aesthetic and a cohesive theme. So if you're going to sew, say, baby blankets, then also make other baby items instead of making baby blankets, tea towels, hiking backpacks, and then they all don't match and they're all really random things. Try to give yourself a theme and try to make your fabrics and the look of your booth, like your branding, your aesthetic, be cohesive also that alone will just make you look way more professional it will give you a look a memorable design for your booth and then you might do well at craft fairs um similarly selling on etsy can be another way to go and i have the same advice for that but etsy involves a lot more knowledge about search engine optimization basically you need to learn about etsy seo and how to get your listings found when people search for those kinds of items and how to get your listings found close to the top of all of those search results so not only do you need unique items you need your photos and your branding to be great 
and you need to learn the technology behind the Etsy algorithm. I myself am an Etsy seller, but I don't sell very many physical items. My patterns on there are digital and I also sell them on my own shop. So I don't feel like what I'm doing is really selling my goods on Etsy. But if you do want to get started with Etsy and you have questions for me, I'd be happy to answer them because I do like to talk about it and it has been really successful for me. But those are some things to keep in mind that your branding really, really matters and your research skills also matter. Okay, another option to make money sewing is to offer alterations. And I do not mean selling to your friends and family and offering them hemmed pants. They're not gonna want to pay what you're worth for one thing. You'll probably end up doing a lot of things for free and it's not gonna be that fun. However, there is a whole industry out there of altering bridal and prom, formal wear, altering men's wear, like men's suits. So if you're thinking about getting into alterations, I encourage you to take yourself seriously and know that your friends and family are not your target market, <laughs> okay? They probably are not your ideal customer because your ideal customer is someone who wants a formal gown that fits them beautifully. And if you can learn the skills to do that, you can really make some good money doing that. I really actually enjoy prom alterations. I think it's fun. There's a person that I'm friends with now on Instagram. We've never met in person. I'll link to her below. Her name is Joy. And she got a job at David's Bridal to learn alterations. And now she runs her own business, altering wedding and prom dresses. So you can learn these skills in more ways than just going to school for them. Although obviously going to school is a great option too. <laughs> okay, I, I mentioned blogging earlier, but I'm not really gonna talk about that here because obviously that's what I do. I have a blog and a YouTube channel and I sell patterns and I write content but I'm not going to talk very much about con content, content creation as a viable option for very many people, mostly because it takes a really long time to get going. So if you are open to the slow road to earning income sewing, this has been an absolute blast for me. I love that I can do it from home. I can turn what I already love to do into content for the internet and eventually get paid for it. But if that's something that enough people comment that they'd like me to talk more about, I can do a separate video. But I'm not gonna count that here as like a, a easy way to make money sewing. So let's move on to the next one. And this is my second favorite and it's doing custom work. So if you learn a skill like for example, sewing for the ballet or sewing um, dancewear in general, or say sewing menswear, like tailored men's suits. If you, there's one person I follow online who makes formal gowns for people. Another person makes cosplay costumes for people. These, the kind of people who want these things sewn understand that there is a large cost behind them. So if you have a friend that has asked you to make a bell dress, you know, a bell costume for them and you quoted them a price just for the materials, they were probably floored, flabbergasted, said it was ridiculous and moved on and never asked you again. But if you get a person who's very into cosplay and has purchased things like that before, they understand the cost of things. And this is why I love sewing for dance companies because they understand how much costumes cost retail and they understand how much it costs to get a custom made solo piece, for example. And I feel like the creativity involved in that kind of thing is so fun. So if I were not doing this, I would be sewing for ballet or theater or things like that. In fact, I have done some of that in the past and it was just always, always fun. So I, and I actually really hope to get to do that again in the future. I would just love to, especially those one-off solo pieces. Like I made my daughter the dove costume. It's probably the most fun I've ever had making something in my life. And when they were younger and wanted Halloween costumes, that was also a blast for me. I just love it. So let's get on to my number one favorite way and the fastest way in my experience to make money sewing and that is to teach sewing. This is a very out of the box thing to do. Not very many people are doing it, which is good for you if you want to. But my story with this began when I was living in Hawaii. I'm an army wife and we were stationed in Hawaii. I needed a new laptop desperately. Being an Apple person, Oh, I also, I homeschool my three children. So I was homeschooling. I really needed a new laptop, which as an Apple person costs, you know, $1,500 to $2,000. And I needed it that summer. Like mine was dying last leg. And I had talked to my sister and she said, yeah, I think I'm gonna just make some extra money teaching sewing camps this summer. 
So I immediately stole her idea and I earned my laptop in four weeks of summer camp. And I didn't only earn the laptop, I earned even more than that. So it was a huge success. I had no problems at all getting students. I knew plenty of homeschool families, plenty of kids at my daughter's dance studio, things like that. So it was really easy for me to gather the students. The moms were very into it. This is a skill that a lot of women my age didn't learn from their moms. They say my, my mom knew, but they didn't teach me. And now they really want their children to learn. And the moms were into it, the students were into it. I planned themes. It was an absolute blast. And I did it right out of my house. And it involved my own children. My own kids had a great time too. So after that, I started continuing offering camps and classes, mini camps over long holiday weekends or one-off classes on a Saturday here and there. And I would just choose a theme or a project and fill up the class and make money. And so when we moved from Hawaii to Utah, I set up my sewing studio and I started advertising and I started teaching regular weekly group classes. So it was like a group lesson and it was just so much fun. I could very, very easily make one to $2,000 a month by only working four or five days a month. So for me at that time, it was perfect. And if you feel like you have twice that amount of time to work, you can make twice that amount of money. And this is why I love this method. Not only is it fun, because you get to hang out with kids and preteens and teens, and they're just fun. You're teaching them something valuable. Your, your creative itch is being scratched at the same time. And you make money quickly and regularly. It's not like making something that you hope to sell or spending a lot of money first or like blogging or YouTube where it takes years to start seeing the income come in, things like that. It's very quick money. It is easy to do. And that is why I wrote an ebook on this whole topic because I started having friends asking me, yeah, but how are you doing it? How do I do it? How do I set it up? What exactly are you doing with these students? What does your machinery look like? Do you have a machine for everyone? No, I didn't. Do you set this up in your dining room? Yes, I did. <laughs> Um, what do you charge people? How do you find students if you don't know a lot of homeschool families? What is the legality? What is the liability issues? How about safety concerns? I was asked all of these questions and I did write like a small blog post once about it, but there was just absolutely no way I could encompass everything. And so I wrote an ebook. It's been a long time in the making. I've been writing it for a long time because I really wanted to think through everything. Every question I've been asked or that might be asked about how to teach sewing camps and classes to kids or adults. If you prefer to teach adults, there is information in the ebook about that too. So don't worry about that. And also the ebook includes a huge list of project ideas, sewing camp themes. We did sleepover camp, American doll sewing camp. It was just so fun and other camp ideas. And then there's a resource page that you can go to to get links for all of those project ideas. This book really encompasses everything how to teach the kids, what steps to teach them in, even disciplinary issues if you have any issues with the kids in your classes. So if you are interested in that ebook, you can hop over and buy it. I'm gonna put it in the link and then I'm going to also put a little coupon code there so that you can get a discount on it. I really hope that you enjoy this. What I really want is for moms and maybe some dads, I don't know, and grandmas and just anyone who feels frustrated because they've tried to make money sewing or with their other hobbies, and it just hasn't gone anywhere or it's been really piddly money. I want to help empower other moms to be creative in their thinking about what they can do to add to their family's income. Because let me tell you, it is harder and harder in 2023. It feels almost impossible to live as a one income family anymore. And I still homeschool my three teenagers. I just graduated the first one actually. And so for me, being able to have a business from home has just been a huge blessing and gift to our family. And it wasn't until I started taking myself seriously, knowing that I don't have to settle for just, you know, a hundred dollars here and there, or just little tidbits. I started treating myself like I have a business because that is what I have. I just started believing that I could contribute significantly. And that's when everything changed for me. And it started with those sewing camps. So that is what, spawned all of this of pin cut sew that i have now that's where even the name pin cut sew came from my first logo was for those sewing camps and it was drawn by my daughter my cute little sewing machine it holds a special place in my heart and i really really hope that you find value in this idea and that you take it make it your own and run with it so go below and grab the ebook 
and I cannot wait to hear what you think about it. Please leave me any questions that you might have in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And I think that's everything. Be sure to hit the like button if you did indeed like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.